In 2010, they passed the Transportation Investment Act. And that is what we're here to talk about today. It is a 1% regional sales tax covering, in our case, the 18 counties of the Southern Georgia region um, to fund transportation infrastructure investment. This does not replace the existing motor fuel taxes. It is additional revenue for um, the entire state. And one thing to know is there's a lot of, a lot of people have said there is no plan B. Uh, the director of planning at GDOT talks about that. This is how the Georgia General Assembly has selected to go forward with transportation infrastructure investment in the state. Um, there is not another way that they've selected. A little bit of background. Um, this is a pretty concise summary of the, uh, of the law itself. There are 12 special taxing districts that are created in the state based on the regional commission boundaries. Each, each district can levy a 1% sales tax for a period of 10 years. That can be renewed with the approval of the voters and of the General Assembly for another 10 year period if the voters and General Assembly want that. Individual counties cannot opt out. During the uh, debate in Atlanta when this bill was being passed, that was one thing that kept going back and forth. Can counties opt out? Counties cannot opt out. So once the region passes it, every county must participate. The money raised in the district stays in the district. And there's no going to Atlanta and being refunneled, redistricted, or refunneled around. All of it stays here. The money is not subject to congressional balancing. If you're familiar with current transportation investment um, in the state of Georgia, the money has to be uh, balanced on congressional districts so that. Um, all of the congressional districts receive the same amount of funding. This money is not subject to that because it's generated locally and stays within your district. The project criteria, there, where there's a project criteria that's available on our website that our executive committee uh, followed um, and the local co governments followed when they selected these projects. That was established by our local governments. It is the round table that of the uh, 35 um, uh, county chairman and municipal representatives that select the final list of projects. And that meeting is slated to be held on October 10th in Douglas um, in the next month where those projects will be selected. The vote is going to be the primary election of 2012. That should be July of next year. If you recall though during the most recent special session for the Georgia General Assembly, they were debating on whether to move that vote to November. That did not occur. Right now, it's still in July until we hear something different from the General Assembly. If this tax is enacted, the funds would start flowing uh, to our local governments and to these projects in the first quarter of 2013. As I said, we have 18 counties and 45 cities, over 11,000 miles of roads in this region and 406,000 uh, people. We go anywhere from Valdosta up to Ashburn, <coughs> over to uh, Douglas and Coffee County, and then uh, on the other side of the Okefenokee Swamp to Charlton and uh, Charlton County. 